Clouds still lingering around and the chance of more showers. That's right, Kelly. We are seeing cloudy skies overhead showers looking likely heading through today, and those are two of the big impacts that I'm tracking for you. Cloudy and cooler showers likely Tuesday, and we'll have a little bit of a warm up over the next couple of days with clearing skies overhead. Now a live look outside this morning. The Sundial Bridge lit in pink, looking very beautiful this morning. You can see the Reading area right now dry at the moment. That is not necessarily set to be the case throughout the entire day today. So something to keep in mind there as well. Reading is projected to get some showers at least early to midday today. And then towards the afternoon, that chance for showers does become more widespread across our region. And that will persist mainly in our mountain zones for tonight. So something to keep in mind there. We are going to be dealing with active weather today. Temperatures in the upper 50s to mid 60s in the valley right now. 63 degrees in Redding, 64 for Chico and Orville, 62 for Red Bluff. Just checked in with Willows, 59 degrees there. We're in the 50s in the foothills, 40s to 50s in our mountain zones. Wind out of the southeast and breezy in Chico specifically, 18 miles an hour out of the southeast right now. Throughout the day today, winds gusting up to 25 miles an hour out of the southeast by around noon. Still seeing breezy winds, 20 to 30 mile an hour gusts at 5 p.m. And then we do see winds shifting to become out of the west. Briefly this evening with 32 mile an hour gusts projected for Red Bluff at 9 p.m. tonight. We'll then see north winds over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, a little breezy out there. Winds up to around 20 to 25 miles an hour. A little stronger late Wednesday into early Thursday. 30 mile an hour gusts out of the north Thursday morning. Seeing those winds continuing through midday Thursday and then still 20 to 25 mile an hour gusts Thursday afternoon. So it's going to be a breezy next couple of days. Today it's south winds. Tomorrow and Thursday it's north winds. Satellite and radar. Seeing those clouds increasing across the valley overnight. So far, showers are spread across areas of Trinity and Siskiyou County zones as low pressure tracks inland across the Pacific Northwest today. That's what's bringing this cooler, wet and unsettled weather to our region over the next 24 hours. And then after as that moves off to the east, high pressure builds in, driving the clearing skies, a modest warm up on the way and those north winds to return. So what we're seeing out there for today, satellite and radar to futurecast showers in the northern mountains in Shasta County at 8 a.m. Showers spreading inland through the valley by around noon and then a chance for some scattered showers across the valley mid afternoon into early this evening. And then after that, it looks like most scattered showers staying at our higher elevations and foothills clearing out overnight for the valley with sunshine early on Wednesday. We'll then see scattered showers persisting in areas closest to the Oregon border, but that's about it. And following that, we're sunny on Thursday, but then clouds increasing again on Friday. Showers not looking too likely except for areas closer to the coast Friday evening for high school football watchers. A little shower activity possible Saturday. This is a little bit of uh, an aberration compared to the rest of the models. Sunday looking to be mostly dry but cloudy and then widespread showers returning Monday into early Tuesday of next week. So rain totals from this system right now. It looks like a tenth of an inch of rain for Redding. Most valley areas seeing about a hundredth of an inch to 5.05 uh, inches. Higher elevations are looking up to around a quarter of an inch of rainfall on the way from this system today. Temperatures ending up in the 50s to low 60s in the northern mountains. Cloudy with the rain showers through the day will end up in the 50s for the most part in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Showers also likely, especially midday into this evening. Foothill areas 50s to lower 60s, a slight chance for showers late in the day into this evening. And if you're in the valley today, showers likely for the northern zones with mid 60s to low 70s. Showers possible this afternoon through early this evening in the mid valley with low to mid 70s in your forecast. Your storm tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Breezy north winds with sunshine returning tomorrow and temperatures a little warmer. The heat this week peaking in the low 80s with sunshine on Thursday. We'll then have clouds increasing with the dip into the mid to upper 70s again Friday. 60s to 70s Saturday, a slight chance for showers Saturday and Sunday. And then a better chance for showers the mid to upper 70s Monday of next week. So Kelly, this is fall like weather on the horizon. Temperatures in the 50s for the mornings. Mostly 70s for the afternoons and a couple of days in the 60s, but Thursday looking to be the warm point with low 80s and sunshine.